Erica. Um, I just want to start this video, of course, by saying thank you to everyone that's been writing on my Warm Spring and giving me so much like support and it really made me so happy. You guys don't even know how happy I was last night and today and just seeing all your comments and everything, it really just made my night and even today. So thank you for that. Um, okay, this video was another request. Um, someone asked me to make this yesterday, so I'm making it now, and it's the top five best moments in my life. Um, I was thinking about this all day in AP Social Studies for you, so I should have been paying attention. I was thinking of these, so better be grateful, whoever you are. Um, my first moment is a moment I don't even remember, so it's kind of weird that it's my favorite memory ever, but um, I was really little. I was about four I guess maybe even three and it's a, I the reason why I know it happened is because there's a video of it um, and I probably am gonna post it just because this is like my visual diary and I wanna you know keep it safe God forbid my house burned down or something like that and I lost this video it would make me so depressed because it is really the happiest I've ever seen it made me so happy to watch it you know and it's my entire family's over and me and my sister Alexa decide to put on a circus and we were putting on a show and everyone was watching and they paid money to get into it and all of a sudden um, they all start joining in my entire family you know my grandparents are dancing around with stuffed animals on their heads and you know everybody's singing and clapping you know my uncle and my aunt and stuff and it was just the craziest thing I've ever seen my family is insane um, but you know, they love me and my sister so much that they were willing to do something like that. And it just, gosh, it looked like, and they looked like they were having fun, you know, like we look like we're crazy because they're all like laughing and having a good time. Like I, you have to see it to understand, but it really was one of the best moments of my life, even if I can't remember it. All right. Um, there's no real order now for the remaining four. I suppose my next one, I guess, would be my 7th grade birthday party. It was my sweet 13. And, um, my God, it was just so much fun. It was, like, the perfect night. Um, it was January 26th. And it was just such a big deal, you know? And I had everybody there that I wanted. And I can't even describe, like, that night. But it was just so perfect. And I loved it. It was at Club Bianco. But it was silk, but it was called Bianco back then. I had this beautiful dress that I was so excited for, and it was really just such a great night, and I was so happy with how it turned out. Um, a third one is probably um, a night I uh, spent at Joe's house. Um, my parents were running late. They are coming from the city to pick up my aunt. And they called me, like, we're going to be running late. So it was, like, 11 o'clock already. And Joe told his mom, like, you know, is it should Erica's grandparents come and get her? Or can she stay here for a while? They're going to be a little bit. And they're like, no, of course she can stay. And we went upstairs, you know, in his den. And his parents went to bed, and it was just us two. And it was freezing for some reason in his house. But we sat on the floor and put blankets all around us. And we went through all of his photo albums. And we're just looking through his old pictures and him as a little kid and it was just the cutest like funniest thing him as a little kid I even I have one of the photos still I stole it and I still have it this is probably gonna kill me for showing this picture but you guys want to know isn't he wasn't he like the cutest little kid ever so <laughs> yeah so that's another one um another memory uh am I on three I think I'm on three. Um, it's my communion. I know that sounds so lame. Um, I don't even, I mean, because considering I'm like a, I sound like a big hypocrite for saying that because I hate the Catholic Church and everything, but back then I didn't. And <laughs> I just remember that night coming home and saying to my parents, like, it was at, my party was at the Nessaqua Country Club. And I remember coming home and saying to my parents, this is the greatest night of my life. Thank you so much. I was so happy. You know, we um, I had my best friend, Erica. We invited her and her family. And uh, my other friend, Haley Targe, was there. And then, you know, all my cousins and everything. And we had a balloon drop. And 
it was just crazy, and I don't know why, because we were second graders, but we had a really good time. And, um, my fourth, am I in my fourth? I had this whole list, and now I forgot it. Gosh, I'm so sorry. I messed this all up for you. Um, my fourth would have to be... Uh, probably, um, the Seussical play in seventh grade, I played the part of Maisie, and the thing that I love so much about it was I had a few solo songs, and I remember I came out, and uh, the opening song, and I looked to the side, and I just look, and I see all of my friends taking up the one whole, like, side of the school, and I hear everyone, like, screaming my name, and they have up posters for me, and I was like, wow, you know, like, that's great, and I hear my family on the other side screaming my name, too, and, um, after every song, I'd walk, you know, I'd walk up the stage, and i hear all my friends, yeah, we're good, um, it really made me feel good, <laughs> I was so happy, um, because, you know, I love to perform, it's one of my favorite things in the world, so performing, you know, on a stage in front of all your friends, uh, it was really good. And I mean, there was so many people there. There was like, I guess like 40 of my closest friends came that night. And um, I just love the show, Seussical. All the music. Like, if you don't know the musical Seussical, I sincerely suggest you go YouTube some of the music. It is the happiest music in the world. Like, guaranteed to, like, make you smile or something. Because I loved it. It was my favorite musical all throughout middle school. And my fifth one, um, gosh, I had something. And if I think about it, I'll make another video telling you what it was. But um, I was choosing between something else. But I guess right now the one that I'm thinking of is another time I spent with Joe. And we were driving home from the city with my parents. And I fell asleep on his knees. I was laying down, you know, and he was sitting up. And I woke up. And um, I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I fell asleep on you. Because, you know, I never sleep. I'm like, you know, an insomniac. And he was like, oh, it's okay. So then I went to go back to go to sleep. And uh, he wouldn't let me. He started poking me and tickling me. And th this happened the entire car ride home. And I wanted to kill him. But I didn't. I let him live. And I know it doesn't really make sense right now, me telling you. But it really was just one of the funniest, funnest moments of my life. Um... Really, my favorite moments in life are the smallest ones that just happen with the people that I love. And, um, I mean, I guess it doesn't make sense because I just told you about my communion and my 7th grade birthday party being some of the best moments of my life. I'm really random, and I, I change my mind a lot. But, um, you know. So, yeah. Sorry this video is so long. Oh my god, it's 8 minutes? I can't even believe that. Um, but whoever asked me to make this video... This is for you. I don't know if it's really what you had in mind, considering this is kind of dumb and kind of long. All my things were kind of stupid. And I don't know if you'd understand it because you weren't there. But it really was looking back on the time. And I thought in my mind, wow, I'm really happy right now in this moment. And I was. So, um, okay. Maybe I'll make another video tonight talking about something else that's shorter that people might actually watch because I don't even know you guys probably have already shut off your computers now by now I don't blame you if you did but um okay